Hi, I'm Yulia. And I am Maria. And we're taking you to a styled photo session 40 minutes away from Las Vegas in the Nevada desert. are bringing to you Legends presented by Pro Prince and this is going to be the competition of the year. Uh, 25 photographers competing for big prizes. Uh, it's an amazing event. Uh, this event is produced by Pro Prince and Pro Prince is one of the biggest uh, professional photo labs in the US. They do amazing job and who else uh, is here with us? Oh my gosh, um, our sponsors today are gonna be Geek Hodo, as well as Homespun Heart Props, who uh, brought us a lot of the styling pieces, including the most amazing, beautiful wings. We're super excited, the competition is getting very hot, and I think that we need to explain to everyone what the rules are. No, let's, nope. let's, <laughs> let's talk about what's happening, because uh, we have three horses, we have a Ferrari car here. We have six models. So this and, is yeah, insane. It's extreme. And we have 26 very competitive, strong personality photographers that really want to take that number one spot. Yes. So now go ahead with the rules. OK, let's talk about the rules. OK, so this is what we decided to do. We printed out coupons for you guys. Each coupon is worth five minutes of your shoot time. So if you're someone that kind of wants to analyze the scene, wants to check out the models first before making a decision, I would say hang back a little bit, pull out your equipment, kind of figure out what you want to do, let other people go first. We're like roaring to go. Once you get to your station, you, you get to line up at whatever station you want to use your first five minutes. We're going to say just like a regular line. So if you're not there first, you just stay in your line. You do not have to use your entire five minutes, okay? If you go on there and you spend three minutes and you got your shot and you want to move on, perfectly fine. Just go to the end of the next line of whatever station you want to go to. So you don't have to go in order. You don't have to shoot all of the models. Shoot the models that inspire you. And I recommend that we really, really think about impact. Those of you who have done competitions, you already know that's a high score. So really think about that. See who inspires you, how you connect with them, okay? If you want to stay with a model for a little bit longer, we're going to let you use up to 10 minutes with one model. But that's it. After that, you have to move on, okay? You can actually use all 25 minutes with the model, but you cannot stay for 25 consecutive minutes with the model. You'll have to go back to the end of the line. Because we have to be fair, some people might want to shoot with that model. This is an amazing event. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity. and. Amazing prices. Amazing prices. So, hey, let's take you around and show you what's happening. This is our first station and we have two performers here. Uh, they're amazing. They are so beautiful. And I want to talk a little bit about the styling because Julia, <laughs> who did the styling? Oh, she did the styling. I, sure did. <laughs> I got no sleep yeah. for like an entire week because here's something that our viewers may not know. We pulled all this together in what, two weeks? Two weeks two of weeks. insanity because we just decided to be brilliant and creative and why not rise to the challenge and pro prints Yes. completely rose to the challenge. This is one of the stations and um, the outfit is amazing. Uh, Maria, she put so much effort and so much work and so much time 
preparing all these outfits, putting it all together, and you'll see how amazing each outfit is. And I think you you did such an amazing Thank job, you. Maria. Thank you. Yes. So my thought process for this was that I wanted to give everyone something interesting and we wanted to have a lot of contrast against this beautiful background because I wanted them to be inspired. I also wanted to give them variety. We also were very focused on diversity. ProPrints wants to make sure that everyone is represented out here. And of course we wanted to match that with the pieces that Homespun Props <laughs> Heart, um, provided for us. And what I did is I took a picture of every single one of the models. I went through all of their Instagrams, checked out their personality, and I really wanted to give them something that they've never done before because if the model loves what she's wearing, if she loves the concept, even if it's 40 degrees up here and she yeah. is like freezing to death, <laughs> it's freezing today. she's gonna like do her thing because she feels amazing. So you can see here, um, our designer created these amazing wings. I've never seen something like that before and they're like attached to what would be like sleeves, right? It's right. so yeah, cool yeah. that she could literally like dance and stuff. So mm -hmm. that's exciting. What kind of, what kind of um, photos do you think people are gonna be creating? So majority of the photographers I've seen, uh, they were just uh, working with the model in front of the plane back, backdrop, mm -hmm. I would say. Uh, and I, I saw one photographer, I was even posing her in a very uh, extravagant like a cat, <laughs> I would say, like a poses. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, we have more props over there and people are um, just adding some elements or taking off uh, the, the feathers. The feathers and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and switching it with something else. Yeah. So yeah, there are a lot of opportunity for creativity. Everyone is just adding uh, something else just because they're competing. So they right. have to be different and they have to come up with different posing. And I love how everybody was just coming up with completely different and unique poses. We are now here with general manager of Pro Prince, Jose Perez. Jose, what gave you this crazy idea of putting such an invitational together within two weeks? Why do you want to do this? What is your vision for photographers out there? Yeah, I, th I think we, we want to do something different, something different for WPPI. Uh, we usually just exhibit, but we were thinking, what can we do to take it to the next level? And we're thinking, well, what do we get? A bunch of models, horses, a Ferrari. We get to the middle of the <laughs> desert and we'll do it Right, right before dawn at 5 a.m. and then we invited 25 amazing photographers to come and do this. How was your selection process? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I know I got a lot of messages, I'm sure you did too, as to like, where's my invitation? How did that come about? How did you choose the people? Well, it's very difficult, right? There's a lot, in this industry, there's a lot of amazing photographers, amazing artists. So it was a very difficult choice to pick who we, who we, who we pick. So it was, some were lucky, some were not, but I think I think we're, next year we're gonna go bigger and we're gonna have many more entrants. Many well. more entries. Oh my so god! So we're doing it next year. We're doing it next year. We're gonna so go we're bigger than year. ever. Oh wow! Bigger than ever every year. But here's the real question that everybody out there wants to know: Do we get to host again? Yes. Yes. You heard yes. that? It's on tape. It's we're on coming tape. back. Yes. Next year. Well, we might do an imaging USA too. So keep an eye open for it. about this baby. Well, it's an amazing prop and we're going home this way. I think we should <laughs> definitely go home in this. Um, how do you think they're gonna use it? So uh, many photographers were using it as just the uh, background, just on the background. Uh, some photographers um, asking, uh, were asking models to lean against it, so that was pretty cool. She got the behind the scenes view, <clears throat> but come, come with me. Let's show you around the car here. Uh, to be honest, I know <laughs> nothing about cars, but I know this is a beauty. I think I want to be a photograph here. Look. I think you should. You look amazing. <laughs> and look at those poses. I feel like this is a whole posing class right here. So how would you pose your model? Show us. Oh, I would pose her like like this. But you have to give us a winning pose. Because, <laughs> I mean, this is a competition. Well, I don't want to lay on yeah, the car on because... It's a rental. <laughs> it's a rental car. But a um, boudoir shoot would A boudoir great shoot would be here. amazing there. Yeah. I definitely think that I myself would probably have used the girls who are a little bit more in the risque outfits and brought mm -hmm. one of them over here. So we have one of the girls in 
all black and then one of the girls in green, they're kind of wearing like bikini swimsuit style and I think they would photograph incredibly right there. Can you imagine? Yes, I, and I think we should bring them here. I think we should. So we're, maybe we'll steal the model and do our own shoot. What do you think? Uh, yes, where's yeah. your ticket? <laughs> I've been collecting them, so I have like 20 tickets. <laughs> so, I'll And finally, Ivan Duran. We are now with the one and only superstar photographer, Mr. Ivan Duran. Thank you, thank you. How are you guys doing today? We are excited that you are here and that you said yes to us. I feel so special. <laughs> How did, it, how did the shoot go for you? Uh, pretty well. I'm still hoping to shoot one more model. I know we're about to go, but it's been great, you know? We are, I love this place, all the texture and like the depth. I always love depth, so it's, it's really nice. Do you mainly photograph in studio or uh, you do outdoor shoots as well? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. A lot of people ask me, well, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. I, I love studio, I do both. Uh, but I really love my studio, you know, space. I get to like just position my lights, everything kind of like more uh, technical or more control, I guess. Yeah, so I, I just love studio work. Yeah, and how, how does it feel um, moving out of the studio, going to shoot outside of the studio? And with limited time. And with the limited <laughs> time. So tell us about maybe if you can give uh, recommendations, suggestions, any tips uh, to yeah, lots of photographers. That's, that's, you know, it's like very different for sure. Cause I wanted to, when you're in the studio, you know, you're either shooting F8 or F11 and then you test your lights and everything has to be completely dark, right? And you're here and like, you're like F16 and it's still like bright everything. So it's definitely very different. I have to like always, that's why I love my, my studio. Uh, <laughs> outdoors, you always have to like, you know, kind of like check the, the sun, if it's like with the clouds and everything like that. So yeah, that's that's just the the outdoors, I guess not problem, like, you know. So how does this compare? I have a really, a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. Um, so my question is, how does, um, preparing for this type of competition with little preparation really we have like two weeks or a week really to let you know hey you're you're gonna go down there you're gonna compete how does that compare to preparing an image for you know national or international competition as well which we know you've done yeah so whenever I try to oh, plan for a specific competition I always try to have like an idea and like plan like my makeup artist and like uh, what they're gonna model is gonna be wearing know which model I want to like shoot so it's definitely like more planning into it and I have like a kind of like I guess an idea of vision. what I want to yeah, yeah here you just kind of like have to like see and like okay that model's wearing this on my work and like you just have to like come up like, with ideas on the spot, on the spot. On the spot. <laughs> and so is that fun or is it like what, what were you feeling it's very fun but it's you know when you're shooting you're like well if I miss it just, you know you, you think it's a good time but <laughs> then you're like one minute there's people telling you you have only one minute left so it's definitely time goes fast I, I just thought it was just gonna be you know uh, not too rushed like not feeling like too rushed with five minutes but you know you have to I guess plan and just do it yeah because sometimes it takes you a minute to warm up with the model where you start to feel like their rhythm right um, another question do you feel like there's pressure on you since people have such high expectations for your performance <laughs> you know I always feel pressure but I, I, I think I like it you know I think um, people ask me why do I do a lot of competitions, what I keep doing. And last year I kind of like stepped back from competitions. I didn't do any, any, any like competitions. And I saw my work like really take a, not a hit, but it was just kind of because I didn't have like a, a goal or, mm -hmm. you know, like, a, like I have to do this to enter this competition. I kind of feel like I didn't do as much. I didn't create as much last year. So. I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna let that happen this year. I'm just gonna go again and start working on my stuff. Because having like a kind of like a competition might always kind of like push me to like do better instead of just going to the studio and then just, you know, taking photos. It's more right. like, okay, I wanna create something amazing. That's gonna move people, right? Yeah, yeah, so coming here, you know, it's one of those things that I, you know, I wanted to do to keep competing and like, you know, it, it does feel pressure, but I, I kind of like it, I don't know. We're <laughs> like, so happy yeah. you said yes that you came. <laughs> Working under pressure is fun sometimes. Yeah. 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 It's more fun for us because we get to watch and talk about <laughs> yeah. what's happening and we don't actually have to be in the fire, so. Uh, Yay, hey, us. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
Crop Prince uh, brought three horses to this event and look how amazing uh, it, the, the whole setup looks. The horse and the model and the desert behind. Not gonna lie, she's a little bit of a Khaleesi, right? Yeah. And her name, of course, beautifully and very fitting is Aphrodite. So she is our goddess for the day with this beautiful blonde horse that surprisingly coordinates very well with that hair, don't you think? Yes, yes. I, I think this set looks really, Stunning. really beautiful. Stunning. Yes. I think it's one of our most popular sets as well. I've seen that there has been a long line the entire day in this set. We were actually joking. I was talking to Megan, who is um, the marketing executive at ProPrints, and she was like, this line is cutthroat. <laughs> so she was the only one who was controlling yeah, the line. Yeah, she was controlling oh. this line. This is, we needed a little bit of control over here. Now, what do you think about working with horses? They can sometimes be unruly, right? Like, you just never know. It's, it's, a, it's an animal with emotions and temperament. But Aphrodite, she said uh, she actually rides horses. So, um, and I think she connected with the horse pretty well. Look, the horse is, is kind of following her. And the horse listening. is loving her. It's amazing. Yeah. She did, she said that. And and in fact, when we were talking about it yesterday, she said that she wanted some alone time with the horse. She wanted to ask the horse for permission to make sure that yeah. they were in a good, safe, and comfortable environment. And it looks like it's working very well because this has this horse has been like literally the best model today. <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm not gonna say that. I take it back. Our models are the best models, but after the models, second best model. So Juliet, we are here with the amazing, the legendary posing queen, photographer extraordinaire of like emotional, emotive photography. <laughs> what is um, your game plan? We want to know. So when, we when, when you guys reached out to me and asked me to do this competition, first of all, I'm so incredibly flattered that you guys did. Like I've already won, I'm here, <laughs> yes. I'm so excited, thank you. I started thinking about the process and you know oftentimes when we work with models models do all of the work they model right they do the work for us so immediately I was like I want to do it differently so I started thinking what is the desert and I knew everything was gonna be beautiful you were gonna style it gorgeous like gorgeous girls everything but when I think about the desert I think of like the exile out of Egypt and the harshness of the environment and the the isolation and the desperation and the solitude and and so I wanted to juxtapose the beauty of the girls that we're working with but also the beauty of humanity like all of the cultures who have been exiled into the desert and and the suffering kind of like Rodan did with the wraiths right this, how bring beauty to like suffering and 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 journeys and and you know moving through that journey and coming out the other side so i kind of wanted to start with like the desperation of being there and then the strength of being in there and then the hopefulness of coming out the other side and i, I love witness it. her actually directing the model so i know exactly what she's talking about and that's uh, the photographer I mentioned you. When yes, you were telling She was me. like, oh, yeah. So yeah. it's exactly what she described. And I think it looked amazing. Oh, thank uh, you. And the model was amazing. She just followed right along and fell mm -hmm. into all the beautiful, like human emotive states. And that's what makes our work so beautiful is all of the human condition and the emotion. The styling, all of this stuff is really pretty, but the thing that speaks to our subconscious, the thing that speaks to our humanity is humanity. So when we have empathy when we see those photos and it just brings so much more to it. So that's really my goal is to make the viewer feel when they right. see the photo instead of saying, what a beautifully lit posed photo. But right. I want it to reach in and just grab you mm -hmm. and I want you to feel that's the purpose of art right yes Absolutely. that's amazing what we're here for yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, any challenges that you face today um well I hurt my knee and I hurt my ankle but we're <laughs> going anyway we're going anyway um it's a little chilly but it's okay we're troopers we got this to anything for art right all right. things for art yes. right yes. um but no, no challenges, not at all. So far, again, I've been able to, oftentimes models, um, 
they want to do the modeling. They, they have a little bit of a fear of not looking pretty. So if I'm looking for something that maybe is not real, like, you know, I'm beautiful. They get a little afraid of that. Um, but the first model we worked with just leaned right into like being, feeling isolated, feeling alone, feeling that desperation. And she actually said when she got up, she's like, wow, that was like a release. And so yeah. what I would have thought would have been a challenge working with professional models, when you kind of break it down, um, she went right into it. It was fantastic. Yeah, you did amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank We're you. definitely going to have to show that. We can't okay. wait to see the final images. So. Yes, I can't wait to, I can't <laughs> wait to edit them. Um, and if I may, if it's okay, so I have a little at home who, uh, my young man, my, my little Prince Charming, who when I told him about this was so incredibly excited that I was asked to come and do this and so excited about being on your YouTube channel oh. and all of this stuff. <laughs> and he made me promise if I was interviewed that I would mention him. So I just want to mention. Yes, let's do my it. My little yes. guy, Elias Zavala, sweetheart, you are the most beautiful human being. You inspire me daily. You are the Prince Charming. And I love you dearly, baby. Mwah! I'll see you soon, honey. Uh, we're here with Jimmy, and he's one of the photographers who is competing for big prizes. Yes. He is a wedding portrait and sport photographer. Yes. Uh, we have a couple of questions yes. for you. I've seen you were shooting with lights, so yes. you're more like a um, technical person, right? I to can ask be. technical questions. I can be. Uh, sometimes I like doing, I always go with the best available light, but the beautiful thing I love about these skies is like uber blue. Um, these beautiful clouds and so I want to expose for the sky and use my flash. I'm probably at like Probably the highest power right now because mm -hmm. the Sun is a little bit higher um, But just overpowering that Sun getting really good depth of field uh, We were using different angles with the cars and vehicles. Uh, we use some of our reflectors as well, too um, Use some of the natural light reflectors, but then also the ground mm -hmm. also works as a reflector, too, which is so perfect so this is like one of my favorite spots to shoot at. So I felt like I had like a little bit of an advantage. So I'm coming for the win. I'm coming for them coins. So if a photographer planning a shoot in a desert, mm -hmm. uh, what would be your recommendation? What to bring, uh, what to avoid, or any challenges that they have to expect shooting um, in the desert? I say it depends on the photographer. You know, if they're a natural light photographer, you can still use natural light. But I love using strobes because I love the exaggerated sky look when I'm shooting. Yeah. But for me, I, I love longer lenses in places like this because you can mm -hmm. pull the background in, it compresses the image versus uh, shooting on a 50 that will leave it more so kind of flat, right. but kind of focuses the emphasis on the actual model. So it's a various of ranges. I use the 24 out here to get a really wide mm -hmm. angle to get all of the sky and also uh, one of my models there too. So it's really up to preference. So I would say just have a long range of mm -hmm. lenses. You know, if you're a okay. zoom shooter, 24 to 70, 70 to 200, you mm -hmm. can work with those. If you're a prime shooter, 24, uh, 50 or 85. Okay, so t between 24 and 200 would be the perfect. Yeah, or uh, at yeah, least, 24 you know. to 200, yeah, anywhere okay. between there. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, other equipment? Um, my flash. So I'm a Westcott Top Pro, so I always got my FJ400. It's one of my favorites. It will completely overpower the sun. Um, I'm using a Sony A7 IV. A7 IV today. I am. I did not bring my A1. I wanted to travel light. That's like my travel camera. Um, and of course, I had my favorite lenses. My favorite is the 50. Uh, super comfortable and nimble. I can go in and out of situations, still get good portraits. So and one of the most underrated uh, equipment is the reflector. Reflector, yeah. yeah. Reflector. So, yeah. Silver and gold your, side. Yeah. You brought your I got the OG. Reflector. I got the Jerry Giannis one, the one that has the hole mm -hmm. in it. So, like, you can, like, boop, peek through and shoot through everything. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yes. How did you prep for this? Um, to be completely honest with you, I never check bags when I come to Vegas. Mm -hmm. When I tell you I brought, like, a suitcase that would fit a body in it. I legit did. My assistant, Daryl over there was like, you don't need to bring that. I was like, nah, I'm gonna bring it anyway. So I did and I just made sure I had plenty of lights. I made sure that I had the lenses that I wanted to use. Um, but other than that, 
I, I didn't know what we were going to use. I just knew that you guys are going to provide some amazing models. Um, I heard we was going to have a Ferrari. I wanted to do like the black on black look as soon as I seen and assessed it. Uh, with one of my models, Sydney, she's one of my favorites. Every time I come to Vegas, I have to shoot Sydney. Like she is the goat out here. Yeah. So, yeah. Was it enough time for you to photograph five minutes for each photographer? What? Was it? Was you know, it? we get at weddings. Sometimes we don't even get five minutes at weddings. <laughs> what? Give me thirty seconds. I'm good. <laughs> like, He's got this. <laughs> yes. Okay. I always say, if you wanna uh, be a great photographer, yes. try to shoot weddings, and you'll learn so much. But see, that's the thing. Like, <laughs> y'all call it the legend. It, it's legends, right? Yep. If if you give a legend five minutes, like. It can't be, oh, I need seven, oh, I need ten. <laughs> right. Like, you said legends, right? Yeah, legends. Right? So if you want legends, you got to do some legendary sh uh, stuff. You know, yeah. I don't want to do that. <laughs> you got to do some legendary stuff, you know what I'm saying? So five minutes was like, boom, perfect. And most of the times I got it in two minutes. I got my shots. Aphrodite, she always gets, she is like pure energy. And we always vibe, right? Yeah. So as soon as I pulled out my Sony um, music peel, my, my little Bluetooth, when she hears music, boom, she just, we get in the character and it's on and popping, so. Amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. amazing. I yeah. can't wait to see your, your submissions. Oh my God, these are so fire. I'm so ready. I'm sorry, y'all, I mean, just, y'all could just cut the check right now if you want. Just, <laughs> just say it. Get that billboard ready in Chicago. You heard it. Boom. for the Legends Invitational. I hope you enjoyed, guys, the behind the scenes, and uh, we can't wait to see the final results. Uh, it was fun, I really enjoyed it. I didn't photograph, but I really enjoyed being here, and I think all photographers did really great. Yeah, they were all amazing. Super, super strong competitors here, and before we go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell for your notifications. I'll see you next time.